Following a mysterious event three years prior, a man is reunited with his family. However, he isn't quite the same person they once knew. Sam Phillips and his son Tony play catch with their dog Katie outside their cottage in the English countryside. Suddenly, a bright light engulfs them, and Sam is abducted while his horrified son looks on. Three years later, Tony awakens screaming, having dreamt of his father being spirited away. His mother, Rachel, arrives and tries to console him, explaining Sam abandoned them that day. However, Tony asserts that his father will return. Rachel kisses him goodnight and leaves him his room. Tony's French au pair, Annalise Mercier, asks her what happened, but she reassures Annalise that Tony is alright. Rachel then goes back to her room, where she complains about her son's nightmare to her new boyfriend, Joe Daniels, stating he's Tony's father now. However, Joe remarks that Tony never liked him and will always prefer Sam, but Rachel assures him that her son just needs more time to warm up to him. Later that night, the light returns to the countryside and plants a seed, where a terrifying creature emerges. As it tries to cross the road, it's hit by a car driven by a couple. The husband, Ben, goes out to investigate. Ben wanders into the forest and sees the hurt creature, which kills him instantly. His wife, Jane, tries to call for him and is about to shut the car door when the creature attacks her. It then slowly makes its way to Sam's cottage, where a woman and her dog now reside. Inside, the woman senses something is amiss due to her dog's incessant barking and bolts the door shut. She arms herself with a rifle and is about to check the rest of the house. When the creature grabs her, it pins her down on the floor and attaches a tube-like appendage to her mouth. In central London, Tony disturbs Rachel and Joe's lovemaking over another bad dream. So his mother tucks him into bed. He suddenly mentions that Sam is hurt, and his mother is horrified to discover the boy covered in blood. So she screams for Joe to call the doctor. The doctor arrives and assesses Tony, who explains that Sam sent him the blood, but the doctor doesn't believe him. Outside the bedroom, the physician assures Rachel that Tony is alright and that it wasn't his blood on him. He's convinced that Sam might have had a hand in this prank and suggests that her son seek professional help due to him being traumatized over his father's disappearance. Annalise barges in on them, asserting that Tony misses Sam, but the doctor insists that it was just a suggestion. Before he leaves, he promises Rachel he'll call again in the morning. Seeing that the whole ordeal is stressing Rachel out, Annalise comforts her and says it's all Sam's fault. She then asks about Joe, but Rachel doesn't want to divulge anything and goes into the bathroom to contemplate. In the cottage, the woman awakens and finds her dog consuming the creature's remains. She tries to take a sip of water, when her belly rapidly swells, and she gives birth to a fully formed Sam on the kitchen floor, immediately killing her. Sam then chews on his umbilical cord and washes himself himself by the sink. Afterward, he makes his way back to Ben, where he steals his clothes and leaves with the couple's car, with Jane's body still in the passenger seat. Later, he tries to call Rachel, but seemingly hasn't regained his ability to speak, and the phone melts in his hand. Sam then drives to central London and leaves the vehicle in an empty parking lot. As Rachel is making breakfast, she instructs Joe to wake Annalise, who's surprised that Rachel's allowing Tony to go to school after last night's events. Joe returns turns to the kitchen and tries to invite Tony to come with him to his airplane photo shoot, but a distracted Tony declines. Rachel then admonishes her son for bringing his pet snake to the table and tells him to return it to his room. Alone, Joe asks Rachel what Tony thought about last night, but Rachel tells him that she won't push her son into explaining. Annalise then takes Tony to school while Sam follows them. At the empty lot, a man accidentally hits the dead couple's car and is about to apologize when he discovers the wife's grizzly remains. Later, Annalise is copulating with her boyfriend Michael in the apartment when Rachel calls her to do some chores. While Joe is doing a shoe photo shoot, Rachel loiters around his studio. She then decides she'll bring Tony to the zoo after his classes to make him talk to her. Rachel then makes her way to the school, where a teacher informs her that Sam picked Tony up. While searching for her son, she runs into Sam and hits him. Sam apologizes and tells her he's finally come back to be with them, but Rachel is still feeling 
furious at him for abandoning them. Sam insists that he doesn't remember what happened to him, making his wife rethink if what he said was true. Meanwhile, Tony is overjoyed by his father's return. They go back to the apartment, where Tony introduces Sam to his pet snake, Harry, and its eggs. Meanwhile, Rachel phones Joe to inform him of Tony's return and memory loss. She then pleads with him to come back to the apartment immediately. After his bath, Rachel asks Sam about the last thing he remembers, and he recounts being absorbed by the light and that it felt good. Rachel doesn't believe him and questions if he was the one who called earlier, but he denies doing so. Later, Joe returns and finds the three of them in the living room. Sensing Joe wanting to talk to her husband, Rachel tells Tony to shower while she fetches the men some drinks. A slightly annoyed Joe questions Sam about what he plans to do now, and the latter wishes to stay. However, Joe asserts that he no longer has a place with a family. Joe then goes to the kitchen and argues with Rachel, who has allowed Sam to stay until he can find his own place. Joe insists he must leave, but his girlfriend is beginning to have doubts about whether Sam really abandoned them that night due to his amnesia. Moments later, Sam takes Harry's eggs and devours them, but Tony walks in on him. Shocked, his son runs out of the apartment, and Sam chases after him, leaving the cage open and setting the snake loose. Moments later, Rachel realizes Tony has disappeared and informs Joe that Sam has taken him. The couple then frantically search for them. Meanwhile, Sam follows Tony into a building basement. Tony confronts his father about eating his pet snake's eggs, but Sam tells him he needs them for nutrients. He then explains that when the light abducted him, he had to change himself so he could live in their world, but he chose to return because of his family. Sam then invites Tony to come with him and sucks on his shoulder, where a lump suddenly grows. After failing to locate Tony, Rachel and Joe decide to head back to phone the police, but are shocked to discover the father and son in the apartment. Sam lies that they left to buy sweets, leading to Rachel admonishing them for failing to inform her. The four adults then have an awkward dinner together. Annalise informs Sam that his arrival was in the most opportune time since Tony had been dreaming of him, and asks him if his son had informed him of the blood incident, which Sam was very aware of. Alone in his room, Tony discovers he now has powers, as he's able to make his toy spin using his mind. Below their flat, their neighbor, Mrs. Goodman, watches a new segment on the murder Sam committed earlier. Tony's pet snake then crawls its way to her living room and hides in her salad, which she quickly bludgeons to death upon discovery. Furious, Mrs. Goodman brings the dead creature back to the Phillips apartment and reprimands Rachel for Tony's irresponsibility. After the elderly woman leaves, Rachel realizes that Tony overheard their conversation and rushes to apologize to him, but he locks his door. Inside his room, Sam tries to comfort an enraged Tony. Afterward, Rachel heads to the living room where Sam is staying, hands him his old clothes, and kisses him goodnight. When she leaves, Sam quickly goes to the fireplace to inhale the fumes, which sustains him. Meanwhile, Joe asserts to Rachel that Sam can't stay with them. However, Rachel is now confused about what to do, making Joe jealous. She then apologizes, and they cuddle. Later that night, Tony awakens to find that he's brought his toy clown to life, as it performs tricks for him. Mrs. Goodman, whose room is directly below his, is disturbed by the loud noises from Tony's room and taps the ceiling with a broom to make him stop. Rachel also hears this and rushes to his room to admonish him. He quickly shrinks the clown back, so his mother doesn't see it. When Rachel leaves, the clown reverts to its human-sized form and begins performing again. Tony hears Mrs. Goodman tapping on her ceiling, so he turns to his toy soldier menacingly. Moments later, Mrs. Goodman receives a knock at the door, when someone suddenly snaps her security door chain and blasts the lock. The horrified woman sees a human-sized toy soldier outside her door and flees to her living room. The soldier finds her hiding underneath the couch and stabs her to death with his bayonet. The following day, Joe heads out early to his studio. Rachel awakens and finds that Joe left a note for her. She then finds Sam at the dining table looking at some photographs, and they begin reminiscing about the past. Annalise interrupts to tell her that Tony's doctor is calling. Rachel makes her way to the kitchen, where Annalise is sorting some clothes and speaks to the physician, who suggests Tony seek professional help. While talking to the doctor, Rachel finds Jane's pictures and a wad of cash in Sam's coat pocket. She quickly ends the call and instructs Annalise to take Tony and drop off the rest of the clothes for laundry. With the two of them alone, Rachel confronts Sam about her discovery, but the latter denies 
denies it's his. Later, Rachel heads to Joe's studio to inform him that she's taking Sam to the cottage to jog his memory, and that she's leaving Tony and Annalise's care. Rachel then hands him Jane's picture, and explains that even though she found it in his pocket, Sam doesn't have a clue who she is. Feeling Joe's indifference, Rachel is bothered by his lack of sympathy, prompting her to leave. Tony and Annalise return to the apartment, where the boys suggest they play hide and seek. However, Michael arrives, so Annalise tells Tony to play on his own so she can spend time with her boyfriend. Later, Tony knocks on Annalise's door and asks to play hide and seek with him. Annoyed, she decides to comply with his request, and assures Michael it'll be a quick game. After counting to 10, Annalise tries to find Tony in the building, where she suddenly hears him calling for her in the elevator. She rushes inside but is knocked out by the clown hiding in the ceiling. Tony and the clown then drag her back to the flat, where Tony deposits eggs into her belly. Michael becomes impatient and searches for Annalise in the flat. Suddenly, a toy tank attacks him, and he hides in the bathroom, where he's horrified to find his girlfriend encased in a cocoon. The toy tank manages to shoot through the door, so Michael throws a towel over it so he can escape. However, a panther in the hallway kills him. Meanwhile, the couple makes their way back to the cottage, where Rachel discovers someone left the gas on. Sam then leads her through the woods to scout Tony's treehouse, but Rachel finds animal corpses littered around the area. Rachel then sees Sam shivering and tries to warm him up when he suddenly kisses her. They then make their way back to the cottage, where Sam tries to question Rachel's feelings for Joe. She doesn't answer him as the situation is too complicated, and she heads to the other room to phone Tony. Sam then discovers bits of his hair falling out and throws it into the fireplace. Meanwhile, Tony and the clown have completely wrecked the apartment. Rachel tries to call them, but the clown doesn't speak when he answers the phone, forcing her to call the building attendant, Mr. Knight, to check on her and au pair. The clown then begins harvesting Annalise's eggs and submerges them in a thick substance inside the overturned fridge. Mr. Knight knocks on their front door, but when no one responds, the older man goes downstairs, where he's killed by Tony's spinning toy. Rachel then phones Joe, and he offers to check the flat to see if Tony is alright. Joe then discovers that the mysterious woman's picture matches the one on the newspaper front page about the murdered woman, and realizes that Sam is dangerous. He tries to call Rachel, but Sam has melted the telephone outlet, cutting all communication to the cottage. Joe is about to make his way to the apartment when he sees Tony outside, who lies that Annalise dropped him off. Joe then takes Tony, and they drive to the cottage. Later, Sam sneaks into Rachel's room, and they make love. Rachel suddenly sees his face molting, but not before Sam finishes inside her. She's about to check on him, when Sam slaps her and leaves. Joe and Tony make it to the cottage, and the man tells the boy to stay in the vehicle. He then runs into Rachel inside, who informs him they need to leave immediately. Meanwhile, Sam meets the deteriorating Tony by the woods and takes him toward the light. The couple sees them and runs after them, but Sam kills Joe using his deadly scream. Rachel then chases after them and sees that Sam and her son have now fully turned into aliens. She tries to call out to them, but they're absorbed by the light, leaving a depressed Rachel behind. Soon, Rachel returns to her apartment and finds the overturned fridge filled with eggs. She picks one up, when a newborn alien suddenly bursts out and latches its appendage onto her mouth. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.